Hi, my name is Ryan with Best Kiteboarding, and today I'm going to walk you through all the new features on the new bag for 2014. First, when you're buying a new kite from Best, you can see right on the front we've got our new hang tag, which shows the size of your kite, as well as the color. We have our serial number and SKU located right on the bottom, in case you ever need it for warranty purposes. Here we've got a 7 meter TS, you can always find the size of your kite right here on the top. You're also going to have a place to put your personal information, including your name, phone number, and email, in case you ever leave your bag at the beach. Inside the top compartment here, we've got an area where you can put your cell phone or keys, and inside, you've got your stencil kit and sticker pack, as well as your user information manual. Over on the side here, you can see we've got a logo with a bar on it, and this is where you can store your bar, whether it's wet or dry, you're not going to have to worry about getting your kite wet because it's an insulated pouch. This is where you can put your pump, so that when you're walking to the beach you can carry your board and you're not going to have to worry about the pump falling by the wayside. On the front of our bag we've got two buckles here located at the top and the bottom, and if you want to ride your bike to the beach and not have to carry your board, you can easily stick these right through your foot strap and buckle the board to the bag. We're going to go ahead and open these up and unzip the top of our bag, it goes down to the side, and it gives you this nice huge cavity where you can find your kite. Your kite's going to come in our stuff sack, and on the back of the stuff sack you're going to find the size of the kite as well as your 2014 Best Repair Kit. The sleeve is really handy if you're traveling, going on an airplane, or want to make more room in the trunk of your car. You can easily fit more kites outside of the backpack if you just travel with the sleeve, but it's still going to protect your kite. But we've made the bag extra big and insulated so that if you threw a wet kite in there or it was really sandy and you didn't want to get sand in the stuff sack, you could throw the kite right here in this big cavity. If you're traveling and wanted to put two kites in here, and you roll, roll them up really tight, you could easily fit two kites outside of a stuff sack inside one bag. And we know that when you leave the beach, you're gonna have wet board shorts or a wet wetsuit, and we don't wanna get the rest of your things wet. And that's why we've got this insulated pocket on the bottom of the bag, so you can throw your wetsuit, your board short, or any other wet items down there, be able to zip it up, throw it on your back, and not get anything else wet. The back of the bag has soft, padded, and reinforced straps, as well as plenty of adjustments to keep the bag tight, whether you have to walk or run to catch that session on the beach. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask your local Best Retailer or go to bestkiteboarding.com for all the latest.